channel, it's 4Play, and this is iGame, my first installment for Black Ops 2. iGame is where I take the map, break it down, explain why I'm doing it. It's like a gameplay breakdown, something that you guys loved in it, Black Ops 1 and MW3. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off. This is against Fariko. A lot of you guys um, know Fariko as probably the best team in the game right now when it comes to hardpoint. This is me playing an OBJ role on the map standoff, and I'm using an MSMC, the game type of CTF. You're going to notice right off the break here, I'm pushing up to the stable side. And you don't want to overextend off the break unless you're, uh, um, you only want to overextend off the break. I'm completely sorry. You want to overextend off the break because your team needs to stay alive. If you notice my team dies here off the break, which is horrible because there's 40 seconds in and they're already about to cap. Most of the time if a team caps on you, you have to counter right away if you want a chance at getting an easier cap than what it would be if they were already set up. We're going to kill one. Proof is going to die by a hunter killer. I'm going to kill somebody at the head glitch. And this is where I know I need to make a move. Instead of jumping out the window being stupid, I know I need to go around stable side and see what happens. See if my teams, my quote unquote slayers can get any kills. I'm going to post up, wait inside of uh, the stable side, throw my sensor just to make sure nobody's near me, and then post up. I'm going to notice my whole team is dying, so I need to make a move here. I'm getting shot at from white wall. I'm going to go up top here. And this is interesting because I jump out the backside. The reason I do that is because I know nobody would expect it, and the little flag indicator would be moving. I'm going to catch Karma in sprint right there. He starts shooting first. I get a lucky kill on him, and I'm going to push out front. I'm getting shot on white wall. This is interesting, too. Stainville is going to end up picking up killer. Killer completely misses me. I'm going to dodge the hunter killer drone, and I'm going to push up. The reason I don't run straight towards the flag is you don't know who's around you. You don't know who got by and who squeaked by. They got three dead. They're going to get a good return here, and I'm going to be able to cap this. So all of a sudden, we're tied 1-1, and the game is going to change. Right as we get this return and this cap, this is where things need to reset. You're going to notice I have a hunter killer, so I want to throw that up, but I'm going to get caught with this in my hand. I'm going to fail a kill on Karma, but now I get to call him out that he's in the back alley. It's pertinent that you call out the quicker people, like the people that are closer to your flag. I know a lot of you guys know that, but you want to make sure that you call that out. Also, in CTF, make sure that you rotate back. If you're an OBJ player, you can get away with it a little bit more. You don't need to rotate back. But if you're not an OBJ player, then rotate back to the flag, make sure you clear that out, and then you can push again. It's more important to make sure no your team doesn't cap on you. Don't let the team just run around be able to cap on you like everything's okay. You're going to notice here, I'm in top bar, and I know I need to make a play, but there's people all around me. I thought I could have killed too quick there, but he's the type of player that's going to go to a high point in the map. So knowing that he's going to be in a high point of the map, now I'm like, okay, he's either going to be in my barn windows, my factory window, my top uh, wood window, some place like that because he's one of those post-up M8 players. I'm going to see too quick right there. I'm going to end up killing him, and I'm going to push and try to take over the boxes. Once you take over the boxes, I'm going to see right there that proof he pulls the flag. He's going to die. I want to pull it and get out of there. I see a guy. I'm going to engage in him and just get out. Yet again, I'm going top barn. The reason I go top barn is I wasn't sure if anyone was box side, and also I can try to pre nade, which I do, and get a kill. I'm going to pre nade that guy running towards from bottom granny because there's probably someone body gr bottom granny that wanted to get the cutoff. When I'm pushing up here with a hunter killer up, you kind of want to use that as a little radar too. That thing is going to see if anyone's near you. Obviously, there's not, but they're spawning playground box side. I'm going to get a lucky two, and I need my team to go big here. Stainville is not going to be able to get him. But, however, um, Proofy is going to be able to get that huge return, and now all of a sudden we're up 2-1. With a minute left, you basically on this side, you don't want to give up another cap because you, you want to go into the next side and make them play different. I don't know if you know this. That was a mistake on my part. I'm going to take out three, but I do kill myself. So it is worth it because we try to push up for a pool, but we're not going to get it. And I don't know if you notice this, but whenever a team is down, they play completely different than they do. Instead of me putting this sentry down with 54 seconds left, I'm going to hold it for the next side. If you are rocking sentry as one of your, per or one of your um, kill score streaks, make sure that you save it for the next side. Even if there's a lot of time left, because this next side sentry gun, if the team isn't using EMP grenades, it is going to be huge, and I'll show you where to put it. With 30 seconds left, we're still up 2-1. I'm playing more of a defensive role just because I don't want to give up another flag because we've worked hard for the two that we have. I'm going to end up throwing a nade. Killer's going to get a huge kill there, and I'm going to die. This is a situation where Killer goes so big, and I'm worried that they're going to get this cap. So yet again, he's going to pull, and we're going to try to overextend. We have to overextend. I'm going to throw a nade and hope and pray that that's going to hit. It's not going to hit. So this is where I'm nervous because they have good cutoffs. With only eight seconds left, yet again, kind of nervous that they're going to cap the flag. Five seconds left. 
what do you know? They end up capping the flag with one second left and tying it up. So it's 2-2 going into the next side. Yet again, this is Envious versus Farico, so it is a good game, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this gameplay. Plus, going into the next side, hopefully you guys can get a feel for how I play whenever we're 2-2 tied and what we need to do to try to win. I'm going to end up actually playing really well in this game. I think I go 30 and maybe 29 and 14. I know I high score in kills and caps on my team. This is what I was talking about with this sentry gun right here. You want to put that sentry gun in the back of the map. However, you can make sure you press X to man control that because if you man control that, no one is going to pull, but then it takes your objective player off the map. You only want to man control it, in my opinion, if you have like a 4-2 lead because it is okay there if you just lay down somewhere. I've played kids where it's worked, so I ended up stealing that strategy from them in a custom game, and I was like, hey, I'm going to try it, and it actually does work. Putting that sentry, I like to put it up a little bit farther than where I had it just there, and if you'll notice, I try to push the playground side just there. Definitely didn't work. I'm going to throw my sentry out the right side just to see if anybody's over there, and I'm going to end up going on the top. I see a guy. I'm going to call him out, but I'm going to get killed from killer's uh, hunter killer drone, which I hate those things, especially as an OBJ player, because you're moving a little bit more than the rest of the people on the map, so you kind of got to avoid them a lot. But if you avoid them, it obviously makes things look a lot cooler than what it is. I'm going to see someone go down on my right side. Jcap's going to be over there, and he's going to end up or John's going to end up killing me, but he tried to pull, but that's where that sentry comes in. He doesn't know the sentry was there off the break, so that's going to kill. The only thing that sucks about having that sentry there sometimes is it'll kill, but people will still get away. Just like there, you kind of see they pulled and got away. But right there, John's going to kill me. I'm going to call him out going white wall. And if you're in a situation like this, you got to get into stalemate. Remember on lockdown on MW3 where they stalemated, you have someone in the back of the map and another person top stairs, like um, parking lot side? This is kind of the same situation. What you want to do in this situation is, if you're the OBJ player, most of the time, if you don't have the flag, you get to be that sneaky push roll. And that's what I'm trying to do yet again here. You're going to see me push up here, and I know I need to go huge on this return. I'm going to throw that sentry out just to see where they're at. I'm going to end up seeing them. I'm going to try to nade. I see one spawn in front of me, but it's too late. It doesn't matter. I tell my team, listen, I know I can get this return if they stay in that corner because that is a huge mistake on their part to stay in that corner. And the reason that is is because they don't know that the spawn is farther away if, um, if they were to move. I'm going to end up pushing up. I'm going to end up nading again, getting another big kill with the nade, and then pushing around that side. Once I push around this side, I tell my team I know I can get this re because there's only one over there. I'm going to push up, kill him, get a re return, and continue to go big. In this situation, we cap. Now we're up 3-2 with only 2 minutes and 30 seconds left. When your team is up, like I said, safeguard that flag a little bit more. Don't be scared to have two play defense if you need be. But also, if you're a team that struggles at playing defense at the end, then don't do it. Pretend like you're tied and keep playing for another flag because a lot of teams get weary and they, they play different. You know what I mean? You don't want to be that team that plays different. You want to either, if you have good defensive strategies, then play those and use those. You're going to see me pull again here. I know we need another cap because we need some, like, comfort zone. You know, we need a little comfort. And in this situation, I pull. I shouldn't have ran back to challenge, but they called out someone in the house. I'm going to get lucky, get a two-piece with that hunter killer, and now we're in business because we get the return and we're okay. So now we're in a situation with only a minute 50 left. I tell my team yet again, we need another flag. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to end up nading the box corner and pushing bottom granny because I know the cutoff is gas station. Stainville is going to get two huge kills there with the hunter killer again. And this should be another cap. There's a guy top uh, factory. What did I tell you about too quick? He goes to the higher parts of the map. Nothing against him. That's just his play style. He's really good with his gun, and that's how he does it. I realize that my sentry is back a little bit too far, so I want to put it up just so we can tell when they're pulling the flag a little bit more. So I'm going to put it up there a little bit, and it's going to definitely have more of an advantage than where it was before. You're going to see me get another kill here with only a minute left. We're up 4-2. to two. Right now, it would take us a miracle to lose this game. We would need to completely fall apart, crash, and not be able to do anything. So in this, I just want to kind of take over barn. I know that I really don't need any more flags. I know I just need to kill people, protect my flags that I've worked for. Because right now, I've already capped two flags. Maybe I should have had three, but somebody else picked it up and they put it in. Which, that's 100% fine because you guys could tell how good I'm playing, whether I'm slaying or capping flags as it is. Somebody's going to push in our box side. They're going to pull the flag. That sentry 
got taken out by an airstrike, which was really smart on their part because they didn't have any EMP grenades, which I suggest if you're playing CTF, you always have EMP grenades. This is a situation right here as well. I choke on the return. He's going to dive it in, but now I'm going to pull their flag out. Just in case they pulled our flag, I just wanted to be able to get away. Instead of running out the backside, yet again, I want the indicator to lie to them. I'm going to end up pulling the playground, try to get away, but there's a guy behind me at the tank. He's going to take me out. Either way, you kind of get a feel for how I'm playing CTF, and you kind of get a feel for what OBJ is like for me right now in my transition from support player to OBJ. I hope that you guys are learning stuff, and if you guys have any questions on OBJ or routes and stuff like that, maybe I can do some videos. But this is 4Play from Team Envious and the 4Play gang. You guys are the best. 4-3 over for Rico CTF. Peace. Man, it feels good to do one of those eye games again. It's definitely been a long time overdue. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and look forward to the next one. Not sure what game type or map I'm going to do for that one. Either way, if you guys look in the upper left-hand corner, that is a random video of the day. Look in the upper right-hand corner. That is the recent clutch breakdown. I hope that you guys enjoy that as well. As always, like, comment, favorite, subscribe if you would like. This is 4Play.